Hi, this is Lori Alexander from The Transformed Wife, and I'm gonna um, teach you how to make my salad dressing. <laughs> first time I tried to do this without holding it. So what you wanna first do is um, take pastured eggs, and I use from that local farm, I want chickens who are roaming out free, not caged and, and um, full of hormones. And what you do is you just crack it on the thing, and then you throw, you can't see me here, but I'm just, separating, I'm throwing away the, the um, egg white, and I'm just, I'm going to use two of these, two, oops, <laughs> I'm going to use another um, bowl to do that in, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you clean off the egg shells, because that's where the salmonella is, and you clean them off good and wipe them, and you have pastured eggs, we've been eating this dressing for many, many, many years, and have had zero problem. And then you want to put, I put a little squirt of stevia in it, just a little tiny squirt, you, and you don't want it too sweet. And then I put in four teaspoons of air dried sea salt. You can use real salt, or I'm just going to healthy salt because healthy salt is healthy for you. The iodized um, processed salt is not good for you. And then you put four teaspoons of this in. I know it sounds like a lot, but um, it makes a lot of salad dressing. And this kind of salt, I definitely believe it's good for you. It's full of minerals and everything. And then you put one teaspoon of black pepper. Remember, this is double the recipe that I make, that I have on my old blog. And then Ken loves Grey Poupon. Um, you could get healthy mustard, organic mustard, and use that instead. But Ken started to eat my salad dressing. I was really happy because it has really good oils. Canola oil, which is in most salad dressing, is just terrible for you. And then you put in four cloves of smashed garlic. And then you put in, I, you put it, you're going to put in one cup of apple cider vinegar. And I use um, good organic apple cider vinegar. And you can use half of balsamic vinegar or all balsamic vinegar if you want. I love balsamic vinegar, but this time I just am using apple cider vinegar to show you. And then I use two cups of the avocado oil and one cup of the um, olive oil for my salad dressing. These are all, both very good um, oils for you and I use more avocado oil because it doesn't harden in the refrigerator. So now I'm going to turn this on. Let me get the one real quick. And then I just let this blend. I have a, um, a Vitamix which I love. really blend I need to turn off just so you can hear me. I'm going to pour the oil in really, really slow. If you pull it, pour it in really fast, it's going to separate and it's not going to be good salad dressing. I've made that mis mistake. <laughs> makes it really, really creamy. You'd, you'd think there was dairy in this, but there's not. And now I just always, always get a glass jar, one of my old glass jars from olive oil, so I'm with the funnel, and I just keep it in glass in the refrigerator. And because it has all, um, so if you use all, all olive oil, which is very good for you, it'll harden. And you'll have to keep it out for like 15 minutes before you use. So this is why I use avocado oil, because it doesn't harden. But this is fabulous salad dressing. And like I said, if you like balsamic vinegar, you can use half of that and half, half of apple cider vinegar. They're both very um, healthy oils for your body, which you need. So you can just slather this on your salads and it makes your salad really good. <laughs> so anyway, this is how I make my salad dressing. And I do keep it in the fridge. And it lasts a long time because of the apple cider vinegar. You could use lemon in front of, instead of apple cider vinegar too, lemon juice. So this will last us probably a, you know, a couple weeks, it's just Ken and I, I have company, it goes a lot faster, but we have big salads every night, so we use it every single night. So anyway, if you have any questions, just ask me on my, underneath the YouTube, but it's fairly simple. I'll add the um, recipe instructions there too. Bye-bye. <laughs>